Hello friend, welcome to Mechanical DMC. In this video, I am going to explain the powder metallurgy. Uh, what is powder metallurgy? How this powder metallurgy uh, forces is carried out? What is the importance of the powder metallurgy compared with the other mechanical or metallurgical processes? What are the advantages and disadvantages too? And this video is be, will be the basic introduction of all the powder metallurgy techniques that uh, since uh, this powder metal technique is nowadays it is a very new concept for the mechanical engineer and so that you can uh, learn much from this video uh, before starting this video I want to explain something about you why some companies or some products are too expensive compared with other uh, take an example of the Rolex brand Rolex was why is too expensive compared with other watches why bmw car is too much expensive compared to other cars and why iphones are too much expensive compared with the other mobiles which are providing similar features the only answer is the quality that these brands are providing it means uh, people are not just seeking the features they are seeking quality from the products that's why uh, they are expending too much of money in these brands that's why the quality is much important now start this video turn our concept to powder metallurgy the powder metallurgy what is powder metallurgy essentially powder metallurgy is an art and science of the producing metal or metallic powders and using them to make finished or semi finished product means powder metallurgy is concept itself gives that uh, it is related to the power and metallurgy means something metal and its position means in powder metallurgy we are using the powder of the metals as a raw product for our processing okay and we are mixing them and producing some parts and in further video i'll explain this process step by step okay uh, the powder metallurgy is a new concept in this scenario but the terms used in powder metallurgy and the thinking comes from previous it means from ancient man knew something about it powder metallurgy is an important point that comes out the entire metal need not to be melted to fuse it it means in powder metallurgy technique we are not melting the metal completely to produce some parts to convert metal shape it means uh, we are using it in below the melting point of that metal this is the some uh, most important things for power metal allergy, okay the working temperature is oil below the melting point of the major concern making is very suitable method to work with refractory materials such as WMO TA ENB oxides and carbides it means uh, if we are able to shape our metal below the melting point of heat then uh, there are lots of advantages you can get from it like uh, especially like in the refractory materials materials uh, we can use it okay uh, powder metallurgy process uh, before the powder metallurgy process starts from powder production blending or mixing powder complexion Centering and finish operation, okay. Like in other metallurgical forces, powder metallurgy forces also contains some steps. First one is powder production, okay. Powder production is nothing, it is nothing but a formation of powders from the ore component or ore metal. Like, uh, if we are to use or if we are to take some shape of materials or components from uh iron then the powder production means the production of the iron powder okay and 
um one thing important thing in powder metallurgy is uh, we are using um much more than two metals or we are using the alloy of different metals which are uh, not capable of uh, using in other metallurgy process so that we are using in this process is alloy okay that's why in powder production means production of the different powders from different metals that we are using for making alloy in powder metal powder metallurgy process okay blending and mixing uh, powder complexion and sintering and finish operation about that i will explain in next slides powder metallurgy process means raw powder that i explained it means the powder of the raw material raw metal and form product means uh, we will mix them and uh, we will make some joint action means we will form some cream shapes and then we will center that product and uh, we will find some strengthful highly strength and density density product okay here we can see powder metallurgy processing means powders formation powder uh, powders also there are some characteristics of the powder uh, means size and shape characterization a uh, micro of the powder uh, chemical homogeneity uh, ppt size and other more uh, these are the character of the powder uh, which are should be studied before the processing and in processing uh, the powders will be goes for compaction centering and forging or hot cup pressing and after that uh, we will get some properties of our desired product that means uh, in terms of density porosity uh, ductility strength conductivity and other functional properties that these properties are the properties of our product okay uh, usual power metallurgy production sequence means after production of powder from the metals from different metals first one is blending and mixing it means we are mixing or blending uh, those powders in some way so that they will be mixes each other and there are certain criteria and certain terms up here i will explain further and pressing means we are compacting those powders to make them joint it is just like welding or not welding but it uh, uh, forms a joint between them they will be compact they will be pressurized to give some green shape okay not in color okay green compact we will call green compact and center means green compacts are heated to bone the particles into the hard rigid mass uh, it is similar to welding okay in higher temperature when particles of the same metals or different metals are sintered or treated with heat then they will be bonded each other and uh, they will compact it in one particle or one product and uh, with high strength okay you can get let's see a uh, particle sets in metal powders uh, i already explained you that there are some characteristics of metal powders means uh, some angular chemical called decomposition irregular roll like take like dentric like spherical like regular like and other more okay uh, in conventional powder metal production sequence blending and compacting and sintering will be there blending and mixing of powder uh, i already told you that blending and mixing is nothing it is just mixing of the, the powders in some way means we can just mix them there are some criteria so that we can mix them for successful result in compaction and centering the starting powders must be homogenized powders should be blended and mixed here you can see there are different metals uh, uh, that we are going to make our way and uh, in between them there are small particles are placed uh, we have to mix them in such a manner that the size of these grains and particles uh, should be mixed in, in such a way that there should be a small gap at very small gap there should be our motto is to 
eliminate those gap with small powders okay so that we can compact them in good way blending means powders of same chemistry but possibly different particle size are intermixed means in blending we will mix the powders of same chemistry means same material like uh, iron we have different powders with a different uh, shape of iron they will be mixed each other means having same chemistry but a different size so that like you can see this and this could be iron they are mixed each other so that the space between this and this could be filled by iron only means same chemistry but possibly different particles are intermixed so that uh, there will be a uh, greater possibility of intermixed between them different particle size are often blended to reduce porosity okay um, i already explained that it reduces the porosity means gap reducing means porosity reduces and mixing powders of different chemistries are combined means in mixing uh, powders of different metals can be metals and non metals also can be combined this is called mixing powder metallurgy techniques always various metals into alloys that would be difficult or impossible to produce by other means means uh, in other or uh, in our general sequence we may not be mix those metals into alloys but powder metallurgy techniques give us to allow mixing various metals into alloys okay and blending and mixing blending is a coarser fraction with a finer fraction ensures that the interstatics between large particles will be filled out i already explained that uh, there can be gap between two large particles so that if we allow some small sizes small size of powder into between them then there will be a uh, greater mixing okay that's why it is called blending and powders of different metals and other metals may be mixed in order to impact special physical and mechanical properties through metallic alloying okay uh, it's for mixing means if you mix different metals powders metallic powders then uh, its mechanical and physical properties will be high than previous one that is called alloy lubricants may be mixed to improve the powers flow characteristics uh, in this stage we can also use some lubricants so that they will improve the powers flow characteristics and binders such as wax or thermoplastic polymers are added to improve green strength green strength means uh, green strength means uh, green after compaction uh, they are not fully mixed but they have some uh, shape already which is known as the green product or green strength okay the strength of this product is known as the green strength after the compaction only this is already explained to you and ball geometry for blending powders means for blending blending means a mixing of uh, a mixing of same materials powders okay having same chemistry here you can see this is the ball geometry for blending powders means this is a ball with cylindrical shape uh, it can be rotated so that they can be mixed during this rotation you can see and compaction application of high pressure to the powers to form them into the required set this is the very important stage in power metal techniques means after the formation of powder they will be compacted through the high pressure to the powers to form them into the required shape and this uh, this gives the shape of the our product required okay conventional compaction method is pacing in which the opposite punches squeeze the powders contained in the dye means it is similar to pacing where uh, we will put some powderish mix of powder after mixing we will pour into the dye or uh, into the pressure pressing machine and then we will press and it will give some shape like in die casting okay 
The work part after pressing is called green compact. The word green means not at fully pressured means they are not totally mixed or they have don't, don't have a greater strength but size is already we got okay after compaction we can get the size the product required but that product is not fully strengthful this is called uh, so it is called a uh, green compact the green strength of the part when press is adequate for handling but far less than after sintering means uh, they will mix in a such way that uh, they have a strength for handling only to transfer from one place to another place they will be capable but not for our use not for is after centering okay to change the strength of, to increase the strength of the product after compaction we use centering process let's see uh, here you can see compacting here we can give pressure from top or bottom or from both sides uh, there the particles will be come closer and after high pressure they will be like own shape or own product we can change the shape die so that the product after the comparison will give the final size of the required product okay the base powder is known as the compact, green compact. The stage of metal powder compaction. Um, here is, uh, this is similar to our, the casting, uh, in die casting also. Powders do not flow like liquid. They simply compress until an equal and opposite force is created. Hence, here, we don't need, uh, we don't need to melt the metal just powders do not flow like liquid they simply compress until an equal and opposite force is created this opposing force created for a combination of resistance by the bottom points and friction between the particles and die surface means due to the friction and due to the resistance from the bottom of points that is force we have applied they will come closed and they will form the shape that we required at last the compacting consolidates that identifies the components for transportation and sintering furnace means after compacting uh, it will give the final shape so that so that sorry uh, after compaction it will give some shape so that we can transfer it for transportation and sintering furnace okay Uh, here you can see the process of compaction here we can put metal powder through here this is metal powder for uh, our final shape and after compaction we can remove it from here okay we can remove it from here and this is the upper punch and this punch can be stationary and then uh, after applying application of pressure these powders will be compacted and after that after compaction we can get the spinal size okay this is a hydraulic compaction machine compaction sequence yes you can see this also this is similar to this one uh, where we are pressing from upper okay we are patient from upper uh, this bottom punch is stationary and after the compaction completes the compact after compaction the green compact will be throughout from this one and uh, take it to centering centering heat treatment to bone the metallic particles thereby increasing strength and hardness means after compaction uh, we can get the final product that we are required but that doesn't have the high strength that we require that doesn't have the high quality that we are requiring uh, in this way the heat treatment to the bone to bone the metallic particles thereby increasing the strength and hardness means uh, i can give the example of the welding where in welding also uh, two metal particles will be bonded together in high temperature in similar way here also in sintering 
uh, heat treatment will be given to that shape after compaction so it makes the bond between these particles means these powder particles thereby increasing the strength and hardness uh, since uh, they are not totally powder also because they are already compacted it means uh, it creates the bond between metallic particles thereby increasing the strength and hardness usually carried out between 70 and 90 percent of metal melting point means uh, we are not melting totally in centering we are providing 70 to 90 percent of the melting point of that metals or similar metals generally agreed among researchers that the primary driving force for centering is reduction of surface energy okay centering parts are heated to 80 nearly 80 percent of the melting temperature transform compacted mechanical bones to much stronger metal bonds means uh, as in like in welding the metal particles will be bonded each other in small manner means in a uh, mechanically and metallurgically they will be bonded each other and in a shape that is required for final size they will be bonded means they have high density and high strength and high quality and so that it will be stronger many parts are done and cities some will be required as stop processing Centering sequence means parts are heated to 0.7 to 0.9 means now up to 90% uh, temperature of the melting point Transform compacted mechanical bone to much stronger metallic bond Okay, uh, they will change the shape of grains Shape of grains of the metals In third stage, center product is cooled in a controlled atmosphere means after uh, heating or after centering it will goes to cooler and cool in control atmosphere prevents oxidation and thermal shock gases commonly used for centering are s2 n2 inert gases or vacuum you can see this sequence of centering here we can see this is a rotating and here the particles after the compaction will be goes and it will be preheated here you can see after paint preheating it is go to center in furnace and it will be heated you can see this this is center and it will goes for cool down and again the parts and the parts will be repeated uh we can see the powder rolling process also in. means from powder to some shape some flat shape we can produce this is similar to this our powder metallurgy this is total powder metallurgy technique but in different way we are using this instead of a die or compacting we are using roller okay shaping rolls here we we are going, going to shape the powders into some flat shape this is another green sheet okay green sheet and it will come to centering furnace here uh, it is heated and bones will be formed formed and goes to hot rolled for the required shape and goes to cooling and it will form a uh, required parts okay uh, let's discuss about the power metal metals uh, in first only I told you that the quality is most important it means in power metal techniques the parts are accurate with high quality and high strength with good mechanical properties that are required that's why only powder metal techniques is famous for these days like uh, BMW cars and in other aerospace and engineering terms also uh, they are producing aerospace engine uh, they are producing these types of parts uh, which requires high quality they are producing through the powder metal technique only because after powder metal techniques the machining required will be less very less than other machine parts, other parts is okay. Precision can be for use. The production can be fully automated. The mass production is possible. Okay. Production rate is high. Overheat, overhead cost are low because uh, the machining requires are low. That's why. Big human point is not too large. Metal loss is small because we are producing the uh, required shape at last. Through this forest okay 
or mm-hmm. mass storm. Important thing is the quality and strength of the powder that we are getting from the mixing of the different metals, uh, which may not be uh, generally possible from conventional metallurgical forces. Uh, virtually unlimited choice for alloys, composites, and associated properties means a different alloys, composites, and associated properties we can use. Refractory materials are popular by this process means refractory materials cannot be heated to their melting point. That's why how we can use these power material techniques can be very economically at large run size. Long term reliability through close control of dimensions and physical properties. While lang- latitude of shape and design means uh, this depends upon the, our compaction size of mason provided. So if we, if, if we can increase the complexion of the mason, then um, directly we can make the parts bigger than bigger. Very good metalized, metal utilization. Limitations and disadvantages. High tooling and equipment costs are there. Okay, this is advanced concept. That's why metallic powders are expensive because it takes some time and some cost to form the metallic powders also. For problems in storing and handling metal powders, okay, uh, degradation over time, fire hazards with certain metals, limitations in the party part geometry because metal powders do not readily flow laterally in the dye during patient. Variation in density throughout the part may be a problem, especially for complex geometries. It means in some cases there may be some difficulties too, like a uh, degradation of over time, fire hazards. A limitation for the part geometry are some example and metallic powders are expensive means uh, to form the powders is quite stay which may not be necessary for a general purpose also for us not always determines i already explained that uh, during mixing or uh, during blending our purpose is to reduce the porous by mixing the size of different particles each other but which is not 100 percent Large components cannot be produced on a large scale means uh, we have to increase the compaction size machine which may not be possible in all these cases. Some shapes are difficult to be produced by the conventional powder metal route. Okay. Whatever the merits are so many that the powder metallurgy is a farming technique is gaining popularity means uh, due to its mostly due to its quality and sequence of operation and this strength that we are getting from final it is going to be more popular and most of the uh, mechanical production in the sense of mechanical production companies are using these techniques for production of very important parts and very costly parts even the washes or the shape of the uh, different car engines and parts uh, special engines are also are going to manufacture through these powder metal techniques okay uh, this powder metal techniques is going to complete the new era of the main mechanical manufacturing and metallurgic forces so be aware of this concept and learn more about this in next video also i will explain about this the more basics and more important things of this concept and 3d techniques also i'll start to you so that please subscribe my channel okay uh, for further video okay there are some parts which are manufactured from power metallurgy also yeah some you can see some gear part bearing also this uh trimmer okay um uh, these products can be easily manufactured from this powder metal techniques. You can see connecting rods, gears, okay, transmission gears. Okay, please subscribe my channel and see you on next video. Thank you. Bye.